Right there, the new Florida law that restricts conversations about race with employees and students is now unconstitutional. That was the ruling from a federal judge. Now, the law has been referred to as the Stop Woke Act and was strongly pushed by Governor Ron DeSantis. News for Jack's reporter Joe McLean is joining us live at the federal courthouse downtown with more on how this ruling affects parts of the law. Joe? Yeah, and it's important to remember that this is a big law. It affects a whole bunch of different facets of society. It affects higher education, it affects K through 12 schools, and it has an impact on the private business world. And there's actually been lawsuits filed by plaintiffs in all three of those realms. The ruling by the judge, though, that, that came out yesterday, that deals with that third one. It deals with uh, employers' diversity training. The part of Florida's Stop Woke Act that bans employers from requiring workers to undergo diversity training is unconstitutional under a new injunction from U.S. District Judge Mark Walker. The judge explained in a 44-page filing that there's an extremely high bar for any law that puts restrictions on constitutional rights, including free speech. He said this law, officially titled the Individual Freedom Act, fails to reach that bar. He wrote... In short, the IFA does not target trainings because they are mandatory. The IFA targets trainings because of the speech delivered in them. Lauren Prater is an attorney not connected to the lawsuit. You can't just make an overarching law that completely limits speech, uh, especially when it pertains to something that is content based. You're going to have to make the law very narrowly tailored and very specific so that people know obviously how to apply it and so that it is furthering that compelling government interest. DeSantis' law implies that people are harmed by learning about critical race theory and that the discussion of racism hurts more than it helps. Judge Walker wrote in the injunction, if Florida truly believes we live in a post-racial society, then let it make its case. But it cannot win the argument by muzzling its opponents. When it comes to the First Amendment right to free speech, that is our constitutional right. So if the government is going to do anything to limit that right, then there has to be a compelling government interest, something that is of such importance to our society that the government's regulations are, are necessary. The judge's order did not come with what's called a stay, meaning if the governor chooses to appeal, the law is not in effect in the meantime.